Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pi Revolution. So on this tutorial we are going to cover 3D plots. On our previous one we covered 2D plots which was very straightforward. 3D is slightly sophisticated but it's very straightforward as I'll show in this tutorial. So we need our usual Pi plot and matplotlib inline and we need this uh, library called MPL toolkits which allow us to make uh, 3D axes and we'll need NumPy to generate numbers. So first off is our 3D line plot. Uh, what we did here is we set the legend size to font size 10. So um, you can actually see what's written here, parametric curve. If not, um, I apologize. You can download my IPython notebook from the description section on the link. Um, I have this figure and the figure size is set to 10 by 10 and that's going to be the figure size for all the plots over here. We set the projection, so fig.gca, this is the special bit. You set the projection to 3D because uh, it's in Cartesian coordinates of 2D. Then these are basically the values I want. So theta, z-axis, r, x, y, basically it's um, cylindrical axis. So it's like a z-axis and the x, y kind of looks like a polar then I plot and this is the spiral line curve you see here next up is a 3d scatter is very similar to a 2d scatter only difference is I change my projection to 3d and over here I just wanted to play around with the colors a bit and also the Z range so um, I have my X values from 23 to 32, y from 0 to 100. These are all random numbers. And for z, um, I have zl and zh. So for my first one, the red red circles, I go from negative 50 to negative 25 for my uh, z range. And for the blue uh, triangles, I go from negative 30 to negative 5. Then I have this axis dot scatter is the exact same scatter as you see in a 2D, but I'm using a 3D projection. So XS, YS, ZS, those are my uh, 3D coordinates. My color is equal to C because I changed the color from red and blue and my marker as in my marker label. And I label XYZ because it just looks pretty over here. No special reason. And this is our scatter. Next, we have a wireframe. So this is our wireframe right here. We have our 3D projection. Over here, we are using axis 3D. Um, notice that the A and the D are lowercase, not uppercase as the usual 3D axis one. Uh, the lowercase is basically a database of data points that you can play around with. So I just get test data and test data number 0 0.05. And then this is just something I just chose because it was right for this data set. Then I plot X, Y, and Z because I got the X, Y, Z value. And then I have R stride and C stride, each equal to 10. So R stride and C stride are basically our row spacing and column spacing. As you can see on this wireframe, um, the row spacing and the, uh, the column spacing are exactly the same. After that, I have my surface plot. So for my surface plot, exactly the same projection 3d just keep remembering figure and you can add subplot or you can use gif and just set the projection to 3d instead of default 2d and that should be enough then plot the x y and z values and then you have the x y z on the plot surface and your r stride and c stride as usual and my color is blue and you can see this very pretty blue sphere Next up is the contour plot. So contour plot is also the same. I'm getting my test data 0 0.05 and I have my plot surface, X, Y, and Z, my R stride and C stride equal to eight and alpha equal to 0 .3, 0 0.3. And just for fun for my contour plots, I'm actually projecting the contour plot onto the X, Y, and Z plane. So that's done using axis.contour. So in the middle, I have the surface plot of, um, well, it's just a basic surface plot. And then I'm projecting the con 
projecting that onto a control plot on the x y y x and x x y y x and y z um, surfaces which you can see over here i set the offset and i'm using a cool warm color map as in the value is high it's going to be red if it's low it's going to be blue and i just set the x label y label z label along with the limits and you have this very pretty plot here the 3d surface plots and the contour projections Finally, we have, oh, not finally, I have a few more. So here's a polygon. It's the same thing over here as well. I have my X values, my verticals empty because I filled it up with some other values, my Z and my poly equals to polygon collection, my, my the verts value that I just appended, my X and Y values, um, then my colors that I want and my polygon alpha and add collection and that gives me this nice polygon a lot of these things are a lot more detailed i'm just covering the super basics just feel free to look up the documentation and comment below if there's other things you want to learn and i think oh we have two more so we have the bar and for the bar we have um the same thing as you can see here bar x y and the z value and the z direction i want all the bars to be facing the y direction then my color and my alpha i have my quiver plot next which are basically vectors so what i did is i created a mesh grid of the size given 0.8 to 1 on steps of 0.2 and only the y -axis, z axis is in 0.8. I have my UVW, which represents my magnitude and uh, direction of the vector, and my XYZ, the position of the vector. And each of my vectors are its length of 0.1. And as you can see here, all my vectors of signs 0.1 with the UVW direction in the XYZ coordinate. Finally, I. Oh, that's all done. Well, that's our 3d plots there are a lot more 3d plots out there i just gave you a few to play around with and even this can be expanded on a lot and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe till next time have a nice day